Now welcome to another lightning response video where this time the question comes to us from Tommy Foss who asked, Hey Thor, why do you think Disney Lucasfilm seemingly refused to make any content in the Old Republic? This is possibly the most content rich era of the franchise and is ripe for so many stories. It could be the MCU of Star Wars easily. Is it because they want to push the High Republic? Are they saving it for a break glass moment? Thanks. Okay, so I think maybe the hope or idea is, or was, depending on if the game ever comes out, it was for the Knights of the Old Republic remake to be a sort of relaunching point for the whole time period, to hope the game renews interest or brings new interest for those who've never played it. Because yeah, it is such a huge era in Star Wars, both in terms of time or scope and scale in-universe and how much it's enjoyed by some fans outside of it. And there's so much that can, or could be in theory, done with it and has already been done with it, which is maybe part of the issue or problem, that they know if they do relaunch it and do their own thing with it, there's a good chance it'll be rejected or fail, which is why they should just more or less make the Old Republic as it is or already was, just make it canon, just copy and paste it because there's absolutely no reason to try and reinvent the wheel, if you will. And that's maybe even why they wanted to start by just remaking Knights of the Old Republic, because they did plan on more or less keeping things the same and wanted to do that or start that by bringing back the most popular piece of content from the whole period. I mean, they know how things have gone before when they tried to redo a time period in their own image with how they did or are currently redoing the post-original trilogy time period. They've seen how many fans got frustrated or angry when they undo previous beloved stories and replace them with new ones. Heck, bringing in Thrawn and sort of redoing Heir to the Empire is likely being done in part to win back some of those fans they angered, even though they run the risk of redoing it in a way those fans will absolutely hate. Which then kind of brings us to the High Republic era, and I feel there's a few reasons why they created it instead of, say, just going back to the Old Republic. The first one being was to make an era of Star Wars that was all their own and doesn't, as I was just talking about, have anything else to compare it to. No one can say the EU did the High Republic era better because it never really delved into that time period. It's also mostly a blank canvas for them to do pretty much whatever they want within reason. It's not directly connected to anything else that's been done before or too directly connected. I mean, yes, it is still the Force and the Jedi and tells a sort of prequel to the prequels. And it does seem to be showing us how the Jedi became more involved with the Republic or more under their control or jurisdiction and that they're being more proactive in the galaxy in general. They're out there trying to spread the light instead of simply maintain it. What they've been doing in the High Republic seems to show us how the Jedi of the prequel era will eventually fail and fall. And as I've discussed before or recently in another video... But if you look at all the evidence, it does feel like Disney-era Lucasfilm is sort of setting up the Jedi for some big changes going forward. That they're potentially implying their fundamental way was flawed, which might be done because they find the Jedi as they are, or as they should be, not exciting enough when you say stack them up against Marvel superheroes or what DC is potentially about to do. In other words, they might feel like Star Wars needs a bit of a shake-up to be more appealing to maybe this generation or the more average fan who's gotten used to, again, Marvel, DC, and just the superhero genre in general. And I absolutely think there will be a connection between the film that will show us the origin of the Jedi and the Rey film, which will show her rebuilding the Jedi Order, especially given she'll be using the books written by those first Jedi in that film to remake the Order. And though I'm hoping I'm wrong, I can see it being a more gray approach to the Jedi philosophy, like the first Jedi had in the EU, which, as I've discussed many, many times before, is not how George Lucas saw it. And so to wrap it up here, I honestly don't know when they're going to truly embrace and explore the Old Republic. It may indeed be saved for a break glass type moment, or when they have nothing else to really do, or have run out of ideas, or nothing else is working. And with the Knights of the Old Republic remake seemingly being in a state of limbo or just taking what feels like forever to complete, and with a Ray film opening a door to the post-sequel trilogy era now, not to mention the Mandoverse time period being the kind of featured or focused time period right now, and with the High Republic era also being a thing currently, one that's been getting quite a bit of attention lately beyond just books and comics with Jedi Survivor dealing with it and the upcoming Acolyte series set to be at the end of it, and that's to say nothing of the fact that, again, they're also going back to the start of the Jedi, which is a time period onto itself as well. 
And so when you kind of factor all that in or factor it all together, it doesn't seem like they'll be getting to the High Republic anytime soon or like they're in any sort of rush to start exploring or re-exploring it. And so we'll just have to wait and see. Well, that's all I got for you this time. Now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell me what you think's going on with the High Republic or when we might see more of it. Or feel free to ask me a question for a future lightning response video. Just start a comment off with Hey Thor to get my attention. Either way, do leave a comment below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.